I've been in practice now for almost 20 years. It never gets any easier telling a woman that she has breast cancer, that as I see it, her, 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 one of her worst nightmares has, has come true. I think when it gets to a point for me that it's become easier, I should probably find something else to do. How do you cope with this every day? Okay, so, uh, so our job is not only to treat the medical aspect of cancer. And um, in, in our medical oncologist's office, there's a cartoon of a dog with a patch in his eye, over his eye, and the cartoon reads, uh, lost dog, um, one eye, missing tail, castrated, broken right leg, answers to the name of Lucky. And I think it's really important that we find hope in every situation. And that hope should translate into a close relationship with your patient, availability. And it's hard because we, we are always pressed for time. But women, patients, hang on to every word that you say, even a wince or a glance at the floor when someone asks you about their prognosis could be translated into a very negative effect for them. And so I think that we have to be very mindful of how we discuss the information and how we give people time and concern and most of all give them hope. There's almost always something that we can say to a patient to give them hope. And as long as we can give them hope, um, uh, you know, they have something to hold on to. And we know already that even having late stage disease is not a death sentence. And we have many patients diagnosed now with late stage disease who go on to live for years and years. The survival rates have increased in breast cancer. Of course, not to the point where <coughs> we would consider it a great victory because we are not gonna be satisfied until we eradicate breast cancer. I have a very strong family history of breast cancer. Uh, my mother and, and um, uh, five or six of her cousins and, and a great grandmother who probably died from it looking back. There is a woman behind every breast and we have to keep that in mind and we have to have humility and modesty and we also have to give hope in every situation.